I'm Jacob Smith, class of 2026, shortstop right-handed pitcher. I go to Reagan High School. I'm committed to North Carolina State, and this is my day in the life. What's up, guys? Thank you guys so much for subscribing all of last month. We hit our goal of 45,000 subscribers, which means I'm giving away two pair of sunglasses to you guys. For the winner of the purple translucent 100% S3s, we have our winner right here. And then for the second pair of the S2s, we have our winner right here. If that's you, DM me on either Instagram or Twitter, or if you don't have any social media to reach out to me, uh, leave your comment down below and I'll give you my email and then we'll go from there. Thank you guys for subscribing all month and hitting my goal of 45,000 subscribers and stay tuned for next month's giveaway. What's up guys? For this month's giveaway for March of 2024, I'll be giving away a pair of 100% S2s, the Tokyo Knights colorway. This has been asked for for a long time, so I got a couple pair and I'll be giving these away. All you have to do to win these is one, be subscribed to the channel. Two, like this video. Three, leave a comment down below. Four, watch this video all the way through to the end and five, do that for every video that drops in March. This month's schedule is gonna be a little bit different. Here are the days that I'll be dropping videos. You can also turn the notification bell on so you know every time I drop a video. Also, I let you guys vote to see what the next goal would be to give away a second pair, and you guys voted on every video has to get 300 likes, and I'll give away a second pair. So if you get every video that comes out in March to 300 likes, I'll be giving away not one, but two pair, just like I did last month. So good luck, and thank you for subscribing. So I got into baseball around the age of five or six. Um, it was just me and my dad, you know, playing wolf ball in the backyard. And then I started to play Little League about seven or eight. And then um, I really like got serious with baseball around 11 or 12 is when I started to play um, travel ball. And then I made a switch to the South Charlotte Panthers and that's when everything got like super serious with baseball. And then my influence for baseball was probably my dad just showing me um, in the backyard with the wiffle ball. But my favorite player, probably what like made me love baseball was Justin Upton when I was a little kid. I chose um, North Carolina State other, over any other college program, but just the coaching staff was what um, stood out to me the most. You know, Coach Chrysler, Coach Hart, and Coach Avent, you know, they did a really good job of kind of separating from every other college in the recruiting process. And what they're building um, right now, we're getting new facilities, so I'm really excited about that. But it was mainly just my relationship with the coaching staff and how much love they showed me who really stood out from every, every other college. So um, I switched to South Charlotte Panthers, like I said, in the fall of last year, and um, Coach Scott, Coach Scott Clemens, really um, helped me out with the recruiting process. As soon as I joined the Panthers, he got me a list of colleges, and I got in contact with colleges. But um, I really, NC State came and watched me play, and um, when we went down to the WWA in Florida, and they wanted me to come to a camp when I got back, and I went to a camp, and I threw really well at the camp and hit good PP and they wanted to offer me, so they made me an offer um, the next day. And um, you know, I took six months with my family and we kind of really talked it out, but I knew NC State was my home, so I pulled the trigger on February 1st.
Perfect. Um, not, not necessarily, you know, I kind of, really it's relieved pressure for me um, because, you know, on the circuit and playing high school baseball, you um, worry about getting recruited. So, you know, committing at such an early age, I'm just really comfortable when I go out there and, you know, play my game and really don't worry about anything else. And it, being committed at an early age kind of took all the pressure off of me playing high school baseball. I'd say my greatest strength is just being able to hit gap to gap and, uh, you know, living off the walls. And I'm a big doubles guy, so I feel that I can drive the ball in the gap. And then a weakness would just be probably being more consistent, not striking out as much. But, um, you know, I've kind of the past summer, we've toned that down a little bit. So um, that'd probably be my weakness. I, the superstition is um, I always, a lot of people go uh, arm sleeve on their right arm. I go arm sleeve on the opposite arm and go wrist tape. And then I always, listen, I always put in the same playlist on the way to the field every single day. Um, I would say my favorite baseball memory was probably Cooperstown. Um, just that was that was really just the best memory. You get to go with all your best friends on your team, and you get to go play against a hundred other teams, and you live in bunks together, and you play wolf ball outside. So that's definitely the best memory I've had so far playing baseball. Um, the advice for uncommitted players trying to get looked at, I would just say play on the circuit. Um, go to showcases when you can. You don't need to overdo the showcases. Maybe go to the national showcase. That's probably the biggest one you can go to. But really just playing well on the travel ball circuit and going to camps. Camp, the camp was my biggest thing was where I got the offers. So go to camps and um, just play on the circuit and play well and work, work hard.
Started off the day in the cages, hit, a, hit about two rounds off the tee, then got some soft toss. Then we got out here on the field and hit some BP on the field, let it go loose. And then we got the glove, we got the arm loose. After that, we had some defensive drills from shortstop. And this closes out my day in life. Thanks for watching. Thank you.